Hey everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford. Today we're going to learn how to create work paths and shapes from type layers. So, sometimes when you're working with a text layer, there's things that you cannot do, like um, adding paint commands or some filters or other things like that because the image or because it's not an image it's actually a text layer now one way that you can get get around this is to rasterize the type like i went over in the previous tutorial but when you rasterize it it converts it to pixels and you can't edit this anymore what if you want vector data and uh, to use paths well you can do that by converting this into a work path and it, you'll still have your type that you will be able to edit and fix up if you if you need to and change. So let's go over that and you can see how it's going to be beneficial to do it this way. So go ahead and open up or uh, start writing on some type and we're going to go ahead and uh, select our type layer. Make sure it's selected over here. So we're going to go to the menu here and we're gonna um, go to create work path. And now I have a path here that has the actual, um, as you can see it there, has the actual data there. The actual path is now <clears throat> formed out of the letters, which is pretty cool. One thing to note is that a path cannot be created from any fonts that are bitmap fonts because they don't contain outlying data so they have like the pixelated th those are the pixelated fonts so you won't be able to create any outline data from those so that's easy enough and there's your path and you can work with th this path like any other path it contains the vector data and you're still able to actually work with the fonts that you have and I can edit these or you can work with the text that you have and I can go ahead and edit it and make a new path if I really needed to and if I screwed up and delete the old path. So that's pretty nice. It's a little bit, uh, sometimes it's nicer than rasterizing the text. Um, if you don't want to deal with paths or you don't need to deal with paths and, and edit everything, you can go ahead and rasterize and not have to worry about a path or anything like that. So that's all I wanted to show you and uh, be sure to uh, like the video and subscribe for more videos coming up soon. So have a good one, everybody.